how to how to use JavaScript in Bootstrap Studio. So here's Bootstrap Studio opened up, um, and go on to the left hand side in the search bit, and I want a paragraph. So we'll go over there, and we we'll just drag a paragraph over here, and there we go. So we come on here to do our style in here, element dot style on there. So I'm going to just uh, make the height 60 pixels, so you can really see what we're doing. 60 pixels, and I'm going to do the background of um, an orange type of thing. So I'm going to just put F90. Okay. So when we come to this, we just click on that, and we want to get into the HTML editor for, uh, for the next part convert to HTML, then edit code. So here we are. And what I want to do is uh, to show functions and how to how to get functions on um, Bootstrap Studio. So we can use an event. Uh, this one I'm going to use is on click. This is probably the most used, most popular. But you can use on focus, uh, on double click key down on anything else you want but anyway so this one we're going to put function tester and uh, with brackets okay so we've created our event there and which would so what we're doing really is we're going to try and um, when we click the paragraph something happens and I'll just reapply that so we'll come to the JavaScript bit here on the right hand side and we just create our JS by right click on that Okay, and then double click on that, and now we're on our JS editor. And what we want to do is we want to go function, function tester, which is the name of our function that we did in HTML, brackets, then curly brackets, and then we can uh, use whatever we want. I'm just going to put alert just to show a demonstration of how to get this. So we just put the uh, speech marks and you could say hi there. Hi there. Then after that, semicolon. Okay. And all we're doing there is applying it. All right. So on here, we've got a preview at the top and open in the browser. And I'm using Edge here, so we just go on there, click it, and there it says, hi there. So what actually happens in Bootstrap Studio is that it knows uh, where to put the uh, links and the source and everything like that. So you don't have to do that. All you have to do is uh, do your JavaScript and whatever you're doing with your custom code, and that'll, that'll uh, do it itself. Uh, so that's very cool, I think, um, which is uh, really good. For things like um, variables and uh, arrays and all the rest of it, you can you can put them all in the JS document, but uh, functions, they're HTML most often, um, and that's where you really need everything to link together. But as I say, Bootstrap Studio does that, so I hope you've learned something from that, and thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.